Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Oos. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! The one thing that hasn't changed about Jay Uso is his unrelenting desire to be at the top of WWE. Yeah, and at this point, I don't think anything can hold him back. Jey Uso has truly reached main event status. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're the followers, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here we go with L.A. Knight in the ring. You know, some people question if Knight was ready to clash with WWE's upper echelon. Yeah, well, those same people seem pretty quiet now, Cole. L.A. has made it clear WWE is his game, and he's taken control. He can no longer be ignored. L.A. Knight walks around with a chip on his shoulder, and that gives him an intensity that is difficult to contain. And then we have Jey Uso, an extremely talented in-ring competitor who accomplished great things with his family by his side. But Jay doesn't need any backup to get the win. He can do it all by himself. Jay actually prefers to do things on his terms, to be in the driver's seat. He's ready to make a statement here that Jay Uso is a certified threat with or without someone by his side. Snapping the neck. I love being on the black and gold brand. Such exciting talent here. You know it holds a special place in my heart, Cole. Comes back into the ring. Jay letting his opponent know who's in charge. Over the last few years, main event Jay Uso has really come into his own as a solo competitor, wouldn't you say? I agree wholeheartedly, Cole. But his best work is still done alongside his brother. Jay has a lot of tag team tendencies that don't fade very easily, so it's important to keep him overwhelmed. Oh, man, Jay's face telling a painful story now. Snap power slam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Play possum. I love it. A oh, quick kick out from Jay Uso. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Can't quite get him there. 
LA able to get out of the way. Back suplex into the neck breaker. And into the count. Denying a two count there. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Top rope. Fails to hit the bullseye. Big forearm. Swinging neck breaker. Knight is fixed on him now. LA Knight BFT from Knight. Look at Jay. His lights are off. It's over. LA Knight scores the victory. Here is your winner, LA Knight. A defeated Jay Uso here tonight. A tough result for Jay. He wanted this one so bad. Every match matters to Jay. This has to hurt. All that gold on display. She's got to be feeling mighty confident right about now. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. One half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. And one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Katana. She fought with every ounce of her being, and the two titles she's carrying are proof of that. Proof of every ounce of fight she has in her being. Proof she's twice as good as everyone else. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> to say about Shh. it's Chelsea and from Victoria British Columbia Canada Chelsea Green you know I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager but I have to admit it has worked well for Chelsea Green are you kidding me Saxton championship gold competing at Wrestlemania those are things that Chelsea earned that she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager.
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Yeah, who writes your stuff? That's the bell, and it looks like Chelsea Green is ready for action. Green usually likes to spend her time running her mouth backstage, so this should be interesting. Well, let's not pretend that Chelsea Green is all talk and no action, Cole. She is championship caliber, and she's proven it over and over again. Why do people keep doubting her? You have a point, Corey. It's not smart to underestimate Green in the ring, no matter how annoying you may find her. But it doesn't get more exciting in the ring than Katana Chance. Big energy, even better athletic ability. Chance is not a competitor you ever want to discount. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. And now thrown back into the ring. Nice Japanese arm drag. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. Oh, that might have just broken something. Off into the pin. And a shoulder in the air. Staying in this one. Off the ropes. Them. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Incredible agility! Oh, a huge corkscrew splash! Katana Chance measuring just five feet tall. Does that put her at a disadvantage tonight? The bigger an underdog, the bigger her fight. Chance doesn't see anything as too big or too much for her. She never has. She's faced every challenge with a clear head and an expert plan. Chelsea just can't stop this attack. And there's that clear head and expert planning that keeps Katana Chance in every... And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. Uh, almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. And that could be a first step towards Katana gaining control. Chance hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Tilt the world head scissors. If this lands, it's over. She's able to get out of the way. Kick to the gut. Set up. There's the Canadian destroyer. Wow, I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. That was a long two count there. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone, I'm prettier. Chelsea Green got all of that. Cover! One, two. No, oh, she kicked out. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for her. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to put. Taking flight. Boom. Nice counter from Chance. Round and round into the satellite DDT. This match is wearing her down. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Yes. Oh, and these two superstars throwing haymakers at one another right in the middle of the ring. Wasting no time get things started early. And uh-oh, wait a second. It's going to be a busy night for this superstar. There's no escape for this superstar. What I want to know is if they were willing to walk away, what else are they willing to do? Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Face first. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Oh, just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Oh. Absolutely punishing. Here's the cover for the win. That'll be a win. What a hard fought victory. Here is your winner, Chelsea Green. Oh, yeah.
way to prove the doubters wrong. It was definitely a hard-fought victory as they had something to prove going into this. It just goes to show you, disrespect can be a grand motivator. Maybe not intentionally, but look at how it fueled them to get the win. That's the kind of edge they need to keep going. They need to keep the chip on their shoulder. A man who calls himself the now, Austin Theory. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin a dominant competitor, but terrible at the commentary table. Come on! It'll be over soon. Don't worry. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And his opponent, representing Indus Sheer from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Look out, Byron. Here comes the Maharaja. And boy, does Jinder Mahal look to be in great shape or what? And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> here to launch a new reign of terror in WWE. Always ruthless. Mahal seeks victory at all costs. 
Now Jinder is driven to crush the hopes and dreams of his opponents and everyone in the WWE Universe. The more fallen opponents scream in agony, the more powerful Jinder Mahal becomes. And he's squaring off with the boisterous Austin and Theory. While he loves to run his mouth, Theory certainly does back it up. That's something you can't deny, Saxton. Theory's had a tremendous windfall of success. That's a lot of momentum to try and stifle. Oh, and Theory fights back. Oh, close line. Cover! He gets an emphatic kick out. He is still very much in this. Not the position you want to be in right now. Escapes in a nick of time. Setting foot in the ring now. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. That holds back Theory's attack. Lands a kick to the gut. Oh, red in there. Jinder Mahal need to do tonight if he wants to get the better of his opponents? Mahal needs to focus on doing what's worked for him before, grinding down his opponent with methodical and deliberate attacks. If he can do that, he'll have this opponent crushed in no time. Just and he goes for the pin. No, shoulders up at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Mahal wards that attack off. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Elbow puts an end to that. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Brain buster to the knee. Theory's size and strength on full display with that one. And the count doesn't even begin. Amazing. And Theory, a tap down. Can Theory close this? Two count. It's over all in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, Austin. in theory tonight. I can only imagine how a big win like this is going to add to the ego of Austin Theory. Simply one of the best to ever do it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton is basically a five-star general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved 
into the Apex Predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And from the look of things, Randy Orton's really been having a lot more fun lately. He has been, Cole, and that's what's made him even more dangerous. He's feeling himself. He's looser. He's more confident. Not that he ever lacked confidence, but he's not carrying the weight of the world anymore. I'd love to know his secret as long as it doesn't require me to RKO somebody. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov, and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov. A philosophy... Amazing. And that holds Dragunov back. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Pow! Crushed in the corner with a second clothesline. And he just showed Orton no fear with an assault like that. And there was that aggressive offensive style of Dragunov on full display. Bang! Snap suplex. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat... The Billy Goat's curse is broken! Horton might be one of the most dangerous superstars of his generation. We have seen some vulnerability from him over the years. There's a well-documented history of the injuries Randy has suffered. I would think his opponent is aware of those vulnerabilities tonight. Blink and you miss it! Power slam by Orton. in sight and he said you're not getting me with that this time Ooh, DDT delivered cover and he gets the shoulder up before two that's still a quick kick out at this point shot to the chest Orton gets the better there uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. with a lot of 
spite and venom behind that move. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been... Will that stop Dragunov? Two! What in the world? Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out, and you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out. The Viper cannot believe this. That should have ended this match, but it continues. Boom, DDT. Looking for the victory. Two. A kick out at two. What a match. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Great counter. There he goes, right into the corner. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh. And the battle being brought to the Viper there. Dragunov finding some explosive power. Oh. High through the air. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Uh oh. He switches it back around. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand it. Way to break the curse. And he tosses him back in now. To taste victory now. Is it enough? The cover! Two! Oh, he kicked out. Talk about a close count, but the Viper is still in the fight. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the man Russian will. He's starting to struggle here. That's just Orton doing what he does best and letting him know he's not going anywhere. Boom! What a right! And he's able to fight for... Dropping his opponent with clothesline. Ducks out of the way. This is it. That was a massive victory. It was certainly a treat for all of us to watch here tonight. This superstar can now enjoy victory. Oh, what? Oh, no, not the steel chair. Come on. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. Here comes the street champion. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. A man of very few words, Solo prefers to let his fists do all the talking. You talk about intimidation factor. Solo has this entire arena 
feeling uneasy right now. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Montez Ford is here, and he wants the smoke. And his opponent, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. It's about to go down, and Montez Ford is about to unleash his aggression. Corey, you agree, right? He's developed a sharper edge. He's improved his muscles. I completely agree, not to mention his insane athleticism. Montez Ford brings superhero movies to real life. Ford will drop you quick, he'll kiss the sky, and leave you in total disbelief. Montez Ford walking in the rarefied air, holding tag team titles on every brand in WWE. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Montez Ford out here ready to compete. Montez has definitely experienced a bit of a personality shift as of late, becoming more ruthless, more driven, and focused. Some have said this is exactly the attitude he's been missing. We'll see if it pays off for him. And he's taking on Solo Sokoa, who some have argued could be the real tribal chief in WWE. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes, Saxton. No one worth listening to has argued that. But I can acknowledge that Solo is definitely more than just muscle, more than just an enforcer. Corey, we've seen Solo Sokoa get a bit hot, as it were, during matches before. He's a superstar who gets easily agitated and irritated more often than not. How do you think that's going to affect him here in this one? Well, hopefully, he doesn't let it affect him here, Cole. The last thing Sokoa needs to do here is be a hothead and let his emotions drive him, as that could spell disaster for him. Cool, calm, and collected is the name of the game, and Sokoa would do well to remember that. And we just saw some serious offense. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Able to elude it. Big clothesline. Big forearm. What a punch. And you can see the effects of that on Sokoa's face now. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Caught with a punch. back. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Ah, uh, flat jet. And he goes for the pin. He kicks out instantly. Gonna take a lot more than that to keep this man down. Ooh, this odd rush has got to be draining Sokoa. It is all Montez Ford right now. Tough position to be caught in here. Huge top quickly. The cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. And frustration might be starting to set in. Oof, that can knock you out. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh. counter. In oh, this is turning into a real Donnybrook here. This superstar's rocked. And this superstar apparently has had enough of this. Yeah, walking away. 
Discretion's the better part of valor. Uh, how about calling it a retreating? Whoa! Oh. No the the retreat. This just went from bad to worse. There's no escape for this superstar. Yeah, they're going to have to see this match through the end. No way! Somersault plancha to the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained a big rewards. Big forearm. Vicious, downright savage club right there. DDT. done. Ford got met with some stiff resistance there. At this stage of the match, they are clearly... Look at this! Oh, just completely off target there. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. the way you want to see things end after the earlier blatant show of disrespect. They've got to be feeling like they just proved a point here with their actions, though. And Cole, you were so up in arms about the earlier disrespect they showed, but look at them now. They were clearly in the right. Corey, this doesn't necessarily suggest they were right. Look, they gave their opponent the chance to prove them wrong, and it didn't happen. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Frazier was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. And that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil-may-care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. He's back! And his opponents, first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in. 
18 pounds. C M Punk. Who could forget the night of Punk's historic return? But now Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The lights have gone out, heralding the arrival of Bray Wyatt. We have all watched as Bray Wyatt has slowly spiraled out of control. No, I think this is what was always in there, just bubbling below the surface. Yeah, Byron, but now it is completely taken over. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly almighty. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. 
an incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? A lot of animosity in the air between these four superstars, and it seems everyone is an equal target in this fatal four-way. Getting this one underway, we see Nathan Frazier, CM Punk, Bray Wyatt, and Bobby Lashley. It might sound cliche, but you really do have to have eyes in the back of your head if you want to survive a match like this. It's a fatal four-way, a friendly four-way, no matter how much Saxton wishes it was. Hey, I still think it could be a good idea. Inverted face lock. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Paying it right back with a reversal. Punk wasting no motion on the counter. Shifts it back onto him. Nathan dodges out of that. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Down on the windpipe. Lands in the drop zone. This match grinded him down a little. Great trouble here. Can he get it full locked in? Remote. And he very quickly counters. off the attack with an elbow. Frazier gets met with a response. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Ow. He must have seen that coming. Single leg drop kick. some tough hits now. And the fatal four-way stipulation starting to show its effects here. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Boom! Taking out the knee. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Into an elbow drop. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Springboard corkscrew crossbody. Uh oh, mandible claw, mandible claw. That could be Frazier's demise. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Oh, this isn't gonna be good! Oh, God, Buster! Across the shoulder. Filthy. Spot Buster. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This deep into a fatal four-way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. Set up for something in the corner. Boom! What a right! Gosh, big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Gotta hurt. Fighting back with a counter. 
Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Able to evade. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Check out this power, hoist it up. Down face first. Boom! <laughs> Wyatt cuts him off. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly have all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Nathan dodges out of that. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Swipe blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Setting up for something here. Running power slam! There's press. Hit right away. And now we see Punk. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's one step ahead. Look out! Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Oh. He's straight. You're on him by Pump. He turns it into the Anaconda voice. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. A uh, couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. And he slides him back to the mat. Side. 
Bobby can taste it now. That's gonna be it. Two count. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. An enormous win here in this fatal four-way match. All three of his opponents really made him fight tooth and nail to capture the victory tonight. She is a woman who is here to take control. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Just about as merciless as they come. More than that, Bailey is out to humiliate her opponents, make a mockery of them. Well, maybe that's what they deserve for picking a fight with Bailey. No one deserves to be humiliated, Corey. I can think of one person here who does. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. I know Byron misses the old Bailey buddies and hugs, but I don't believe Bailey's former self would have ever had a chance against this sinister side of Alexa Bliss. I do miss a good hug, but even I have to admit, Bailey's a very focused and cutthroat competitor right now. And that's what you need against the dark side of Bliss. That dark side of Alexa certainly gives her an edge when it comes to mind games. If I were Bailey, I'd be very cautious when Bliss comes ringing my doorbell. And she goes for the pin. Oh, look at this. Reverses the leverage. Oh, flips the leverage. Shoulders down. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken.
Places her right in the corner. So to the stomach. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Sit out, slam. <laughs> Shoulder tackle. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Takes out the knee. Just going all out with every blow. Bailey's aggression and resourcefulness seems to throw a lot of opponents off their game, but Alexa has changed, and her dark side has defeated many opponents before the bell even rings. Bailey's imaginative offense has always been a fundamental asset to her success. I think Bailey's aware of that, Corey. Tonight, I expect the Raw model to be just as prepared mentally as she is physically. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. Bailey's gaining the upper hand. Bailey taking it straight to Bliss. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh, oh my God. What a forearm. I did a job. Will tear your knee apart. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, straight to the floor. An absolutely terrible landing ringside. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, ouch! Oh, that can dislocate something. Bailey's fortitude being put to the test there. Bliss's offensive wherewithal was on point. What a reversal by Bailey. Just caught flush. It's about to end. Bailey to belly. Wow, personality aside, you gotta respect Bailey's abilities. She's ready to kick to the gut. Just the same. Saves the rose plant. Alexa's chances are dwindling. I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, sacked. And now we'll see if this is dynamite or a duck. superstar tonight certainly earned it it wasn't easy well, I think the loser realizes he wants to show respect wow a complete disrespect by the winner this is a deeply personal issue it doesn't appear to be completely resolved just yet.
Here comes our tribal chief. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the world heavyweight champion and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. The dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the emperor of Lucha Libre. And his opponents first representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, it is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT champion, Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Hope these superstars have their heads on a swivel for this triple threat match. You ain't kidding, because there are three competitors, and it's also no disqualification, which means things have the potential to get very chaotic here. Oh, just turn that around. And run it, DDT! Bite. STO! Oh, my God! 
Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Already. Big forearm. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Pulls the ripcord. The revolution knee finds the mark. And that might have shook Escobar to his foundation. Seth possibly testing the limits of his opposition. Goes into the pin. Wind him up. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Yeah. Ooh, bang! Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a blow. Gets out of there in a hurry. Some mental chess here from Rollins. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Endless knee strikes. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Clearly waiting for that. Oh, man. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Single leg drop kick caught him. Boom! Slam! With authority. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Getting him into the corner. Solely focused on... Ooh! We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Ah, uh, Santos counters. Put it in position now. Triple threat matches are... What are we going to see here? The wheels uh -oh. are turning. Here we go. All the way. To the face. What a redirect. Superman punch from Reigns. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More close and personal than I'd like to be. He knew that was coming. Great strength being shown here. Uh oh, no! Jeez, and now Escobar has damage to his face. Toss back into the ring. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Seth Rollins has found his favorite equalizer, a steel chair. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Neck breaker. Wind him up. Boom. Knock him down. Ouch. Carefully placed stump to the arm.
count stopped short of two. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. Up for the electric chair, down for Reigns. It's just a matter of time now. The guillotine is locked in tight. He is desperately trying to maneuver out of this and successfully does. Reigns hits it. No coming back from Reigns after that. Just a smidge quicker. Bam! Seth's eyes look glazed over. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crap. Will it be? Running interference. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. in full control here. He gets back into the ring. Look out. Down low with the big end in here. He's got him. And he breaks up the pinfall. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. Good God, what force. The hammer dropped. Literally, something might be broken. My goodness, the human skeleton shouldn't have to endure a smash like that. One wicked attack after another. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. This display of power. Hoping to end it here. This is it. He wins. He wins. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. The monster of all monsters is here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sheriff's Ford, North Carolina. Weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles intercontinental title even the universal championship more interested in causing destruction and running over the competition and very quickly i can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight 
on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? a simple and solid mentality when it comes to it. Oh, no, he can be caught here. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Oh, flapjack. Jobs landing face first. Great reversal. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He avoids the damage. trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Shoulder tackle. Using his body as a weapon. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Kick to the stomach. Nice counter from Breaker. Held in a perilous position. Piercing the throat. And that's something that will slow down Breaker. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Corey, we've seen over the years how Braun's anger can get the best of him. Do you think that... Uh-oh! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Followed by the stop. Oh, no. What, what is this? Reverse chunk slam! the attack. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Able to get out of the way. What a clothesline! Ouch! He steers clear of contact. Going up top! From way up. Whoa! 
Oh, what a landing! Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Big forearm. Got it scouted. And another counter. Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. Ooh. And Strowman couldn't get his hands on him to prevent that move. even letting the ref get to the two count. My ah, seated punch. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Oh, God, that hurt. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh, right to my gut. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Whoa. No way. Somersault plunge out of the floor. Pinpoint precision right on target. Loving blow. And Breaker has taken control. Yeah, Breaker isn't giving any quarter. Enough already. And now gets tossed into the ring. Strikes with a kick. This is not going to end well. Crash landing, powerbomb. Powering up their opponent all the way across the ring. That is a lot of ground to cover. And they're not finished yet. Spine first again. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Can't prepare your face for that. The end for Breaker is looking inevitable here. Braun has him up. Power slam. Will it pay off for Braun Strowman? And just raking at the eyes in desperation there. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. John. Broad breaker submission of old deal. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Broad breaker looking for old faithful. And the ropes force the break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Loving blow. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Strowman with nowhere to go. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Well executed suplex. Bang! This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Strowman, look at this, fighting out with a series of... Will create separation. A counter answered by another counter. 
just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, this could do it! Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins. Here is your winner, Braun Strowman! A big win for the big man, Braun Strowman. Strowman used his incredible power and got exactly what he wanted.